It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Update on Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, well, if you feel like things are a little off this week, remember yesterday was Friday the 13th. Tomorrow is a super blood moon, and according to the most annoying person you know, Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> is it me, or does it every story this week sound like the opening voiceover in a Mad Max movie? The year is 2022. A virus rages across the planet. Digital money has collapsed. Infants have nothing to eat. Women are forced to breed. Men are ready to die for gasoline. And we suffer under the leadership of the one known only as Joe. Crypt <laughs> Cryptocurrency crashed this week with Bitcoin losing nearly half its value and now it has to legally change its name to BitOcoin. <laughs> In fact, the entire crypto market has lost over a trillion dollars, but don't worry, you can make that money back fast, as long as you've been hoarding baby formula. <laughs> you know, this baby formula shortage is scary. I mean, babies are very sensitive. You can't just feed them anything. I once tried to give my little nephew something different than his usual formula, and he nearly choked on that hot wing bone. <laughs> The January 6th committee has subpoenaed five sitting Republican congressmen after they refused to testify voluntarily. Said the Republican congressman, you can't force us to do anything. We're not pregnant. <laughs> Senator Mitch McConnell seen here watching a shelter dog get passed up for adoption. <laughs> led a congressional delegation for a surprise visit to Ukraine today. It's weird because usually when McConnell shows up by surprise, it's behind you in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> Amazon announced that it will pay employees who have to travel to get an abortion up to $4,000 in expenses every year. The only catch is you got to do it during your eight minute lunch break. <laughs> There is, re <laughs> there is renewed speculation about Vladimir Putin's health after he was photographed at a military parade with a heavy blanket across his lap. But hear me out, maybe the blanket is because thinking about war gets him hard as hell. <laughs> <laughs> the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. has been sold for a reported $375 million. Well, I wouldn't say reported, said the IRS. <laughs> A member of the punk rock group Pussy Riot, which has long protested Vladimir Putin, revealed that she fled the country disguised as a food delivery worker, which explains this notification from DoorDash. <laughs> Apple announced that after 20 years, it will stop production of its iPod Touch because Apple products become obsolete once they're older than the kids who make them. <laughs> The New York Times said it changed the answer from Monday's Wordle, which was fetus, because it was too closely connected to a major news story. Tough news for psychos whose first Wordle guess is always fetus. With Disney Plus's new Obi-Wan Kenobi series on the way, it's a great time to be a Star Wars fan. Here to catch us up on all things Star Wars is Baby Yoda. <laughs> What's up, baby? Oh, I love you, too. How's life? You got a new vibe. Life is all uh, good, Michael. Real good. Uh, of course, uh, season three of Mando coming up. Blah, 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 blah. Work, work, work. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is a very enlightening time for me because, actually, I'm spiritual now. That's right. You study the ways of the Force, right? Oh, uh, okay, relax, nerd. Uh, <laughs> you know what an ayahuasca retreat is? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I basically did that, but with a bunch of pills and weed. Uh, and instead of a spiritual guide walking us through it, my boy Tom Holland got on the ox cable, and I saw God. I was like, oh, snap! Oh. Got it. Well, it sounds like a great time. Just make sure you stay safe, man. No, nah, don't tell me what to do. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. 
I'm feeling really peaceful these days, or getting into crystals, rain sticks, spicy guacamole. <laughs> Even got a little community going, very uh, mindful individuals. Yeah, it's all uh, me, Jared Leno, mm. Santana featuring Rob Thomas, <laughs> Bob the Builder, and uh, Tila Tequila. Well, it sounds like a good crew, dude. Yeah, it's a cult. But uh, <laughs> look, I love everyone, man, even my haters. Really? Because you have some strong words for one hater in particular over the years. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, I'm older now. And I just want to say, baby Groot, <laughs> I know we had our issues. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I really, really, don't like you. <laughs> and next time I see you, I will chop you down like Paul Bunyan, <laughs> sprinkle you on my blood, and smoke you while I'm in the hot tub with your girl. <laughs> that being said, I love you. <laughs> and I always got your back. What? Come on, man. I'm just a baby. Baby Yoda, everybody. Yeah. Well, guys, this is just in. The winner of this year's Eurovision Song Contest is Kalush Orchestra, a group from Ukraine. And uh, this is cool. If you combine every member of Kalush Orchestra, you get Post Malone. <laughs> It was announced that a new disco-themed roller skating rink will open this summer in Central Park. Another classic 70s trend returning to the park this summer, stabbings. <laughs> the makers of Barbie have introduced the first ever Barbie with hearing aids. It teaches an important lesson. It doesn't matter if you're deaf, as long as that body banging. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Kevin Spacey will star in a historical drama about Genghis Khan's grandson. Said Spacey, you had me at grandson. <laughs> New, York, uh, New York City officials say they have received over 7,000 rat sightings here in New York. So everybody, look under your seat. <laughs> The Oklahoma City Zoo announced that a 14-year-old endangered chimpanzee named Naya is pregnant, said the zoo's janitor. She told me she was 18. <laughs> the wrong number was announced in this week's $86 million Mega Millions jackpot drawing, which is why I had to go into Lauren's office and unquit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, we are nearing the end of the season, and here to tell us what she learned and give us a tour backstage is Weekend Update's field correspondent, Sarah Sherman. Hi, Colin. I'm gonna kick off the tour in our studio audience. It's been a great show tonight with lots of great Weekend Update jokes from Michael Che specifically. <laughs> All right. I didn't love the specifically there, Sarah. But sure, go ahead. Uh, take us backstage. God, so many legends have passed through these hallowed halls. Will Ferrell, Kristen Wiig, a bunch of crew guys who think I'm an ugly little boy. And, oh my God, how cool. Here we have my clothing rack. This is where they keep my size zero pants. Yeah, th those, those actually look like children's pants. Children's pants, sort of your area of expertise, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's not do this, okay, Sarah? Oh, I'm actually just getting word right now that you should be quiet. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Well, let's just, can we please just keep going with your backstage tour, okay? And what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? It's Colin Joe's <laughs> dressing room, or as our female interns like to call it, the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> 
Okay. No, no, nobody calls it that. Sarah, please do not go in there. Too late. <laughs> Folks, the scene in here is abysmal. On this mirror, Colin has put up all of his humiliating daily affirmations. You are funny. You are handsome. You are the real king of Staten Island. <laughs> This one just says, reminder, dinner tonight with Giuliani? <laughs> Sarah, I did not write those. Oh my God, Colin, what are you, obsessed with me? <laughs> those are not mine, those are not mine either. You clearly put those in there. Oh, really? What's all this then? <laughs> Yeah, that was a nude she was going to show, but she didn't have it. Oh, my God. And what do we have here, folks? It's Colin's famous intern kid. <laughs> yeah. Looks like somebody messed up a Starbucks order. Hey, buddy, for next time, Colin likes his coffee with no milk, no sugar, no coffee, and just vodka. <laughs> Sarah, I told you, you have to stop putting interns in cages in my dressing room. Oh my God, Colin, are you collecting my underwear? <laughs> wow, I cannot believe you're the guy I've been selling these to. All right, someone please just cut her feet off. Oh, I'm actually just getting word right now that we have breaking news from the update desk from my correspondent and best friend, Michael Che. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. This is just then. Local panty sniffer Colin Jost wants to silence Sarah Sherman in his ongoing quest to take down Jewish women. Back to you, Colin. All right. Field correspondent Sarah Sherman, everyone. Love you, Colin. For we get an update, I'm Colin Jost. Good night, Sarah. And I'm Michael Che. Good night. Good night.